Hey everyone, welcome to Mama From Scratch. My name is Emily and today we're gonna to be organizing my pantry. I cannot tell you how excited I am to finally work on this space and to make it organized and beautiful and functional. It has not been organized since we moved in. I basically just shoved everything in there and let me tell you, it is a hot mess, but I am super excited to organize it and I wanna say thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I am going to be using the Cricut Joy Machine to make labels and I am just so excited. I've never done labels before in my pantry and I think it's gonna make all the difference. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. Give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let's go ahead and get started. So seeing the before footage of the pantry, it's quite overwhelming. And to be honest, taking all everything out of the pantry seems very overwhelming and it can be, but it's something that's necessary to do. So your first step is to take everything out of the pantry so that you know exactly how much space you have to work with. You can look and see how much foods you have, what you wanna keep and what you don't. For us, I have basically a winter stockpile going at the bottom of the floor there. And so um, we live in the woods and I like to make sure that we have enough supply um, just in case we get snowed in for weeks at a time or for health reasons this year. I wanna make sure that we have enough food just in case something happens. So I highly suggest that you do this and it also helps for meal planning as well. Now that you have pretty much everything out of the pantry, you have all of your inventory out and then you can actually clean your pantry. You can wipe down the shelves. I like to use my e-cloths for this. You can vacuum, do whatever you need to do. That way you're starting with a clean slate and then you can actually take a piece of paper and kind of plan out the way you want your pantry to look and also function. Something I knew I needed was to grab new bins. So that is exactly what I did. I ended up going to TJ Maxx and Walmart and also the World Market and I picked myself up some of these really nice clear bins that have a seal on them and I really like these. These are easy for the kids to open but they also keep things airtight so they'll stay fresh. Some of the containers I have now do not do that which is not functional at all. I also picked up six of these smaller bins um, to fit my shorter shelves and then I got these much larger bins to hold my canned goods. I have extra bins here at the house, but they're too tall for the bottom part of my pantries. So I grab these wide but shorter ones to do the job for me and then I'm also going to be repurposing some of my older bins. Some of them are not going to work, but I'm going to use the ones that do all over again and we're going to label these and they're going to be very functional and I'm super excited. So. I went ahead and took some of the bins and just kind of laid them out, seeing like how I'd want it to look in there from what I sketched up on my piece of paper. And then I took the bins out and I'm going to wash them because I knew which ones I wanted to use and which ones I didn't. I decided to start at the bottom of the pantry, working with all my extra stock, figuring out which way it fit better in the bins. That way it could store underneath there, but be organized, but also aesthetically pleasing. These are some canned goods that our friend um, farmed himself and then also canned them. Oh, he's such a blessing to us. So because we were moving, I wasn't able to do this and he did it for me. It was super nice. I even gave him blueberries from the summer that we got from the farm and he canned those for me. Isn't that just sweet? So I have all of those down there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're finally getting to the fun part. I get to make labels for all the containers. I'm going to be using my Cricut Joy, which I'm super excited about. And then I'm also going to be using their Smart Label Writable Vinyl. This little machine is small, but it's mighty, you guys. And you can also use it with the app, which is just only for iOS devices. I'm telling you, it is so cool because you can easily create labels in the machine. You can size them differently. You can pick different colors for it. It's really nice when you have different fonts you can choose from and then it sends it straight to the machine. It can cut with a mat or without and up to 20 foot rolls so you can use it for super big projects. So right now I just put the pen in it so it's drawing out all of my labels for me and then it will tell me when it's ready to cut so you just put the blade back in simple and easy and it will cut out each of the label shapes for you depending on whatever you've chosen and it's just super nice. You can use the app, you can use Cricut design space for it. I love my Cricut maker, but the Cricut Joy, mm, a little mighty machine, I tell you. I'm super excited to be able to have this to make my organization just that much better. And as you can see here, I just use simple white and black labels, but you could use colored vinyl. You can use different colored pens on this, which would be really fun for kids' rooms and organization projects. Or if you have a craft space that you like to color coordinate things or work for work, it's really easy to use. And also the fact that the Cricut Joy is Bluetooth enabled means that you can take it traveling with you and use it wherever you need to go. I hope that you guys can pick one up as well. It'll be linked down in the description box below for you guys to get one. This would make a great Christmas gift because it's a gift that keeps on giving and let me tell you as a mom I appreciate those type of gifts. Another tip is when you're planning out your pantry space, make sure that when you buy containers, you buy it large enough to hold the amount that you're going to be buying. We like to buy at Costco, which means we're buying a lot of bulk items. So I wanted to make sure that whatever the container I got for that particular item would hold the amount that we would get. Because typically we go to the store when we're empty on a product. So keep that in mind when you are buying your containers. So my pantry is a good size I would say but it's an L shape and so I wanted to make sure that each shelf kind of had a particular theme going for it. So this is definitely the kids snack shelf here. So I have a lot of dried fruit and crackers on this shelf and then the next shelf below that would be items that come packaged that I get a lot of and I thought it'd be great to use the bins for this because this size bin fit the shelf really nicely but they aren't super tall so I could visually see in them and I could see how, how my stock is doing but also the kids can see what exactly they want to take out from that. I am a very visual person so I have to be able to see what I have otherwise I won't end up using it. I love these really large bins. I got these from Costco a couple years ago and I've never been able to find them again. They were such a good price too. So I decided to put my really bulky items in the really big ones. And then these smaller um, ones that have the green top just for cereal, they hold a good bag, which is nice. Um, but they also have a rubber seal on the lid. These red ones I got do not, and they make this uh, cereal stale. So I do not recommend getting anything that does not have like a silicone or rubber seal on 
it because everything will go bad in it. I even have some glass jars that I'm going to get rid of everything in because everything has gone bad. They did not seal properly and that was my mistake. You know, sometimes you have to give things a try to see if it works and sometimes it just doesn't. So now I'm working on the canned shelf and this is going to be mainly all of my canned goods down here. And then now we're on to the soup shelf and pasta shelf. So I put the kids noodles and stuff in the one bin and then I put all of the uh, pasta in its own containers. Now I know a lot of people like to put pasta in containers, but I prefer just to keep them in their boxes because I, it's like the perfect portion for our family. When I do that, I know exactly how much I'm getting. When I tried it the other way before, I would make too little or way too much. So it's just easier if I just use them out of the box. <laughs> So these glass jars I got from World Market, I searched high and low for these because they actually have a silicone seal on the lid, which is, like I was telling you, really important when you want your food to stay fresh. So I got these, they were a great deal, and I'm going to be labeling them, but I wanted to use these for all my baking goods because those can just add up and all the uh, containers are all different colors and stuff, which drives me nuts. So I like how everything is uniform now. It, looks Pinterest worthy but it's also functional which is really important to me and I'm just really happy about that. I finally decided to get a Lazy Susan and I thought it'd be great to use it for the vitamins and stuff like that, but this way things that we usually access on a daily basis are right there. I did want to mention though, I have made my own Lazy Susan before. You just take two pie tins and you put some marbles in between them and you have a Lazy Susan. I just didn't have them and I decided to just buy one. This one was $3 at um, TJ Maxx when I found it. So, And then I decided to continue with my baking shelf, adding in the items that I use but don't have a ton of that are better to keep in a package. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I put in my oils and things like that. Make sure to get your bins though because they're going to go quickly, especially with the new year coming up everybody's gonna be organizing so when you're out right now pick up some bins especially if you want to be organizing in the new year i'm just going to clean up the leftover packaging and then i'm going to show you how beautiful the pantry looks Here's a little reminder of how the pantry looked before and here is how it looks now. This organization took me all day but it is so worth it. I am so happy I took the time to do this today and organize the space. I'm happy that I finally invested in some really nice organization bins and put labels on them to make it functional but also aesthetically pleasing. This space is just so nice to be in and we're in it constantly every single day and it's no longer a mess. It's organized pantry that is functional for my family and I hope that I have given you a couple ideas on ways that you can organize your space as well. 
If you have any organization tips for the pantry, leave them in the comments to help everybody out. If you would, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so they can get some organization ideas for their home that are functional yet beautiful at the same time. If you guys are new here, check out the link in the description box below for more videos on the new house and here on the screen. I hope you all have an amazing day. Be sure to check out Cricut Joy, linked in the description box below, and I'll see you all in the next one.